Good morning, modern steaders. They were calling for an inch of rain last night. We only got a quarter of an inch. Yes. Usually they call for an inch and we get two or three inches instead. So that's a victory in my book, guys. Morning, pigs. What are you doing? You sleeping in? Huh? Were you sleeping in? Normally you're up and running around. There you go. The goats weren't even up yet. That's very unusual. All the rain last night on their tent roofs must have been making them nice and sleepy this morning. Nice and relaxing sound. Yeah, you girls were sleeping in too. It was quiet out here first thing in the morning. That's not normal. Her milk production seems to be dropping off a little bit. I'm wondering if she's feeding the babies through the wall or if she's letting Buttercup, her last year's kid, nurse off of her. Seems awfully strange. Her udder's not as full in the morning as it has been or at night. It's pretty cool out this morning. That rain we got last night cooled it off pretty good. Yesterday was definitely a warm day being up on the roof. <sighs> what? You got more grain in there. I know you do. I know what I put in there and you didn't finish it. Yeah. Huh, I see it. You're not done being milk, Jack. Keep eating. Thank you, Willow. You didn't need all your alfalfa pellets. Hope if you stay out, there's more feed out here. They all want to go in and check out the milking stand. Willow knows there's more food coming. Come on, Hope. There you go. Hope you're missing out on the good food. You gonna get the crumbs in here? Morning, Figaro. You sniffing for a mouse? What's in there, huh? Is there a mouse or a snake in our wood pile? It's gonna kick your butt, Tanner. Oh, I told you. He don't take it from you. Uh -huh. All the chickens slept inside New York City last night. I like seeing that. Oh. It's starting to rain a little bit. Huh, they weren't calling for rain in the forecast today. Might change our plans. Hey, old CWC, what are you doing over here? Huh? Is that your new sleeping spot or what? Or are you just waiting for breakfast? I want the chickens to really work this area good. Eat all the weeds down low, scratch up the soil, and then when they're done, I'm gonna come behind them and I'm gonna reseed it. And we'll get it growing some really nice, lush pasture grass. We did that over there, and we're working on over here, and it's making a huge difference. Over here we reseeded it where the chickens were during the winter. And look how nice this grass is. Nice, thick, lush. Up there is what it used to look like. Boom. It's working good. Figaro. It's really starting to rain now. Huh. Got to figure out what we're going to do today now. How are you meat chicks doing, huh? 
give you some fresh bedding and you get quiet, huh? Let's look at that. They're just over a week old and they're getting to that ugly stage where they're starting to lose all their fur and they're getting their feathers now. There you go. Well, it looks like somebody's been enjoying all this mud. Was that a good roll in the mud puddle? You girls want to go strawberry picking today? Yeah. Right. waiting to go. I know, we have to make sure that they're open for pick your own, and they are this morning. Our patch is not big enough. <laughs> no. We've got some good strawberries from the house, but not enough to make anything. Someday. Just for snacking. Yeah. You gonna test it? Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna use them right away, I don't think it matters. How do I pick it? Perfect. I think it's supposed to be red. I like it. Yeah, that was a beautiful. You got some berries. Yeah. If you break your <laughs> put that one back. <laughs> it was green. Oh, well, I don't even know where that came from. You get the nail as well as the potato. Don't step on the berries. You found a better patch. Found the jackpot. Here, hold on. It's like a treasure hunt. Right here, Libby's. Look at those ones. I'll get them. Oh, is this turning into a competition? Look at that one. No, it's like two grown into one. Holy moly. Like a good last one. Mm -hmm. 
They sell them by the bunches. It's like a bouquet of flowers, but it's carrots. There you go. Hold it up higher. We made it back for strawberry picking. Gina's inside. She's whipping up some strawberry shortcakes to go with, to go with the strawberries tonight. We're going to have some friends over and a campfire. But before that happens, we're going to see how far we can get putting the sill plates down this, this afternoon. See if we can get some of this barn built today. If you're, if you're new to the channel, we're building a post and beam barn kit from Jamaica Cottage Shops. I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to check out their stuff. We have one more overhang area we need to build, and this section right here is going to be for our goat stalls and milking room. <laughs> Looking forward to that, guys. All right, so over here we have our pressure treated two by sixes, and we also have some six by six posts. And the six by six post is supposed to go down next, but we omitted them on the other side and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we'll have these, what's that, like 60 feet worth of six by six posts to use on another project. And I already have a couple ideas of what we can use them for. compressor blow all the junk out of our anchor bolts hold We want the anchor bolt sticking up an inch and a half. They need to be two and a quarter inches in the concrete. There we go. Uh, last anchor bolt for the barn. I like it. never gonna be perfect length from the factory. 
I want to double check and cut them to length. They're all about half inch over. Set in place for now. This way. We can get everything marked after. this drill and our Faustner bit. This is an inch and a half Faustner bit. Grab our impact. Ooh, it's in there good. Here we go. Three quarter inch bit. Check all of our measurements before I go too much further. Yeah, get that cleaned up. Roll out some foam. All right, let's do this. Doo -doo. Get rolled out the whole length. It's 80 degrees in here and 81 outside and I am going to bake. Crazy. I want to try to make some strawberry shortcake. Al and Olivia think that strawberry shortcake is a cake. I think it's biscuits. So I think I might do both. We'll see. I'm going to do the cake first. And then if I feel like it, I'll do the biscuits. What do you call strawberry shortcake? Biscuits or cake? Only leave a comment if you are on my side. Biscuits. <laughs> Add more butter. Okay, now I'm doing my biscuits. I already did the dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna put my butter in. But still you keep on crawling back. Really hey. Hey, I forgot. All right, we 
hate to find four posts that are under all this water. Look at all that rain we've got. four posts right here. Oh, all right, let's get these cut down to 65 inches long. Oh, 65. I haven't cut a true four by four post with this saw in a while. I can't remember if one cut will cut all the way through this, if we're gonna have to flip it. And I'll find out in a minute. Woohoo! One cut, I like it. Except for the very edge, and I don't understand that. Hands are after. Nice. These directions right here tell me the spacing in between each post. So we need 120 and 3 quarters, 118 and 120 and 3 quarters. Let's do this. This. All right, so we're going to go 118 and 3 quarters to the outside edge. All right, so we need to go. Four inches. I want to mark three quarters of an inch. That side, three quarters of an inch on this side. Let's get a couple of these GRKs started. this board to set this end on. That should get it pretty close right there. All right. So now I want to get it in our marks. Basically right there. Like that right there, or flush on the edge. There. All right, let's stand this one up like so. Let's see, we'll try to get it. Oops, where is it? Right there. And then hopefully 
it'll stay. I like that. All right, let's grab three washers and three nuts. Let's grab our socket. One and a half, right on the money. All right, so now we want to be one twenty and three quarters to the center. One twenty and three quarters is the center. How thick is this one? It's just under four inches. So if we do, and then four. So we're doing this, and then I need to go three quarters of an inch in here. This is gonna get sucked in. This board's got all kink in it. So I'll have to suck it in and toenail these two boards together. If that makes sense. So we'll do that after we get this post on. So now we should be 120 and three quarters. Boom, right here to center. I like it. All right, so let's mark this one. Again, this one we can do that. We can do this. And then this one. We'll lag to this one and then we'll toenail to that one. All right, let's get this setup put on. Ooh, that's a hot. Got a little bit of friction going on there. Woo. All right, so let's do this. Line up our marks on the board. Like, I like it right there. Ooh, right there. Nice. Perfect. I like it. That. Like that right there. For me, put one more in. Nice. One, two, one, two. All right, let's get this one stood up and in place. Drop it right in place. I like it. All right. There, now that, that nut started, we can get this side adjusted and then tighten that one down. Okay, so let's do this. Right there. Let's toenail 
these boards together. Boom, that should hold it. And then I can put this one going in this direction. Boom, that's not going anywhere. Now we can tighten up this one right here. I like that. When you guys hear strawberries and shortcake for dessert, what do you think of? Do you think of a cake or do you think of a biscuit? I know when I was growing up, it was always some sort of cake. And then I remember when I went to a restaurant for the first time and I ordered it and they delivered me strawberries on a biscuit. I was pretty disappointed. I was like, what is this? This is not a dessert. This is a breakfast biscuit with strawberries on it. So that being said, the cake and the biscuits were really good. The biscuits Gina made, they weren't like a breakfast biscuit. They were more of a sweet biscuit. But Leave it in the comments down below and let me know what do you think of or what is strawberry shortcake to you. I'd love to know. It's kind of like an ongoing debate here at Lumna Acres. We had our friends over and we had a campfire. It actually made for a pretty good discussion. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it too. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. It was fun going strawberry picking today. Oh, I love going to that farm. That farm has so much stuff. I can't believe there's a farm like that only about 45 minutes from our house. I can't wait till one day our farm looks like that. So thanks for coming along on this journey with us guys and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.